hello hi everyone in this video i'd like to show you how to create ui policies okay what is ui policies in order to explain that i will better show you an example uh, from the record here so if you would like to access this record all you need to have is the need it application so you type in your service now service management need it application you click on all I, by default you should have some records already there and if you don't have any record you can just create a new one all you need to do is just click new and then you have a new one once you completed all the details in the record so I'm gonna just open one of them and I'm going to show you how UI policy is going to facilitate uh, some tasks that we uh, some not some tasks some improvements in the well, in the form itself for example here if you see here request type I have request type human resources facilities and legal three different choices and then I have what needed three different choices as well so if I choose for example legal and then I want to choose for what needed other I would like to have another field here named in between what needed and when needed called other with uh, empty information so if I change back to legal too, I want that field dis uh, not to be visible. So this kind of thing we can do in with UI policies, we can as well do with client side script. So why we call client side script? Because we are going to write a script in JavaScript on in um, in ServiceNow and it's going to only interact with the browser. The browser contains some sort of plugin plugin and it can interpret the language and it's going to uh, give us some result so we are not writing any javascript languages to uh, how to say to a service now server or a database that's why we call client and ui policies it's also called client side logic so let's get started how to have this field how to make that field disappear what are the different things we need to do in order to have this result so the first thing what we need to do is to have that field ready uh, in our form so in order to do that we go to ServiceNow studio I already opened the application need IT which is there and I'm clicking on field types um, let me reduce a little bit the music okay um, so I was here so field types I'm gonna enter here a string value um, how to say field so in order to get that string value field I go to I choose field types here not field and field types so in order to get to that form here you have to click on form UI form need IT here so and then you choose you look for uh, string string here so I'm gonna just drag and drop here and click on this like the setting button which will allow me to put the title which is other and here we have to keep the standard like you and no capital other so I don't need to save at this point I just uh, click on this button and then I click on save so now it's saved let's check if we have our field ready so I'm going to refresh as you can see here we have a field called other and there is no information so now if I choose other it should appear if I choose facilities it should disappear that's what we want that's the way we do it we go back to our service now studio we're gonna create an application file UI and I type UI you have UI policy client development so I click on that and I create so the first thing what you have to mention what is the table we are going to use in which table we are going to create that this is our need IT table this box is active is checked because we are going to use it so if it is unchecked this will not work and I'm going to give a title so I'm just going back to the training if you want to see where is the training all you need to do is to sign up to the developer service now account and you go to scripting service now I click on client scripting 
and here we have the exercise uh, exercise debugging uh, no sorry create oh sorry uh, where is that create UI policies so this is the exercise the first thing what we need is this one like we put that we put the other field here now we are going to just take I choose the table I'm just need the short description I'm a bit lazy to write it um, up is done here uh, what is the condition the condition is when the other field is choose so I'm gonna click here uh, what needed is equal to other so this is where you set the condition you say to the to the UI policy this is the table it could be active and the condition you set like when what needed is other you're gonna do some action and you can first you uh, how to say you're gonna trigger some actions and there are different options here some of the options I could understand for example on load and reverse if false on load is me basically whenever you load the form you click on the form, you click on the record to load the form is going to execute this UI policy and as well reverse if false for example if our condition is false now what is what needed is other if that condition is met is true and if the if what needed is other than other which is like facilities or legal or something like this which is false do the reverse action so we're gonna set up the action just after this the creation of new need I uh, UI policy so I click on submit great so the first thing is done now we are going to set up some actions so in order to set up some action we have to scroll down and then you see here UI policy actions you click on new and what are the actions that we need to have here we are just going to play with the form like we are going to show it visible or mandatory all this kind of thing so so we have attributes for each field so the attributes that we have is mandatory so it's going it's going to be mandatory uh, visible and read only and we have values it can be true false or leave alone so don't do anything and visible is going to be the same we have three different choices and read only is going to be the same as well so here we are, I'm going to choose the field where we are going to make the changes where we are going to play with so the field is other right so now uh, what we need is is to make choices here and then make sure that uh, when we choose what need other what are the things should be available. so I'm going to choose mandatory as a true visible as true and uh, read only leave alone so it's going to be mandatory and it's going to be visible so if it is if it is the opposite so when is the facilities for example what need is facilities so reverse action need to be done so it's going to be false and false so man is going to disappear so it's not going to be mandatory and it's not going to be visible so when I click on facilities when I choose facilities for what needed it should should not show so I submit so that's done we created at this point the UI policy and as well the uh, the action which is goes to the US policy need IT uh, show our right other field so now it's time to test that I'm going just going back a little bit this card so that's how I refresh uh, let's choose a different record I choose this one for example so now there is nothing visible because that's not set and now I want to choose for example human resources and other as you can see here we have a mandatory field the other we can type some information okay so now if I change to human resources it should disappear as you can see here it disappears so you can I can try with legal and then I put other it appears and then legal to it disappears so that's how we can interact with the form just by playing with key features that we have in ServiceNow itself you don't need actually to write any sort of scripting languages at this point just to know how different 
thing works in service now we can do a lot of things uh, to make some a lot of different tags easier so thank you for watching hope you like it and have a nice day bye